So hi guys and welcome back. Today we have a new set of FPV goggles here on our bench, which are the Quanum Cyclops FPV goggles. Let's take a look at the box here and the specs. So you can see it has an integrated 40 channel uh, receiver covering waistband of course, an auto scan function which is pretty nice. It comes with a 5 inch DFT monitor with a pretty decent resolution, so perfect for analog FPV. A 3x magnifying lens. We will see uh, what the quality of this is. A focal length adjustment, this is pretty nice. And you can also see it here on the corner of this image. Because some of the cheaper uh, FPV goggles do not come with that, which is uh, pretty much a pain. Uh, when you can't get the image to display sharply. And well, uh, as we know, an adjustable elastic head strap, we know this from the Quanum goggles uh, with a battery budge. Uh, so that should make it pretty convenient to wear. So we will now uh, take a look at these goggles. We will compare them to my Quanum V2 Pro goggles to see how they compare in size, weight and display quality. And well, then I will leave it to you if these goggles are something for you or not. So as soon as you unbox it, this is what you will find in the box. So there is not much there. It's basically reduced the minimum, which is also uh, what these goggles are about. Basically, you have a power adapter cable here to connect your regular XT60 battery in order to power the goggles. You have also another connector here, which uh, lets you connect one of these 9 volts style batteries to power the goggles. <coughs> We have an additional uh, piece of foam here, which you can mount right uh, above your mouth in the eyepiece. I will uh, show this to you in a minute. And then it comes with this manual, which I will uh, simply quickly go through in this video. So you can pause it to take a look at the instructions if you see anything interesting. So here you can see the image of it, the dimensions, a specification which is interesting. It takes 2 to 3 as LiPo uh, for powering it, uh, minus 90 dpm for the channel's receiver, the operating current which is also interesting. It's an SMA antenna connector, the usual frequency bands for 40 channel. This is nothing which should surprise you. And here again the features which we already saw in the on the box on the outside. And here's an overview of the functions, uh, which we will go through in the live uh, product in just a minute. But it's nice to be seen here in the manual. So everything is explained very nicely, described very nicely. Even the content of it. And here are some recommended models, which they recommend to do as battery to power the, the goggles some cameras here, the Quanum Elite set, which we love so much here. They even uh, suggest some receivers here, which I do not understand because it has a receiver integrated. Okay, so that's it for the manual. And now let's take a look at the product itself. So the only thing I did here is I already mounted the antenna, which is nice because the antenna is a bit bent able. Uh, so what do we have here? So that's your goggles. I'll just give you some detail of views of it before we go uh, through its functions. So the first thing which I really noticed when I just took these goggles into my hands is that they are very, very lightweight. They are much more lightweight than my Quanum V2 Pro goggles and are even more comfortable to wear. They also have everything applied already, so they are really not anymore do-it-yourself, but ready to use 
ready out of the box. So this is really nice. Let's go to the functions here. So basically what we have here is not much because they are really a bare minimum goggles for the beginner probably. You can adjust the focus here which basically adjusts your Fresnel lens which is in there. Then we have here a menu button, plus and minus, uh, which lets you change the brightness, contrast and so on of the screen. We will take a live look at this in a minute. Then we have the antenna here and here we basically have the auto scan button and that's it. So there is not more to it. Uh, while we are at this, this brings us already to, uh, for me, the only disadvantage of these goggles, they really only have this auto scan button here. So you cannot adjust the channel manually. You have to rely on the auto scan button. Whether this works for you or not, I don't know. Uh, but it is a feature with which I would have wanted to just change the channel manually and not rely solely on the auto scan button. So since we just spoke about how lightweight these new goggles are, let's do a comparison to the Quenum V2 Pro goggles and the Quenum V2 goggles, both when it comes to size and also when it comes to weight. So as you can see from the length of it, there is actually not much of a difference, so they are pretty similar. Uh, the other profile of it, the height of it, well, one can already see these Cyclops goggles are a bit more, quite a bit more compact, uh, quite a bit lower in height than the do-it-yourself goggles. And for comparison we can also take these here, which are quite the same as the Quenum V2 Pro goggles, except for that they are a bit shorter than the Quenum V2 Pro goggles. What is interesting and where there is a real difference is when it comes to the weight. Let's take a look here. We'll just put them uh, to the side here and take my scales out and check if you can see them nicely. Yes, you can. And when you take these goggles with the integrated receiver already, you can see that these arrive at a weight of a bit over 400 grams, which is pretty lightweight and pretty decent for such goggles. And you can really see it, you can really uh, feel it when you wear them, that they are much more lightweight. For example, as a comparison, I have my Quenum V2 here uh, together with my good old RC832 receiver. This is a very simple receiver, also not too heavy. Uh, let's take a look at this here. I'll just focus this again. And as we can see, this comes in at 496 grams. So uh, a bit less than 100, 100 grams are more heavy than these goggles. And then finally, the new Quenum uh, V2 Pro goggles here. I have to uh, mention two things here. For one, as you know from my previous videos, I have modded them to include a DVR. I'm linking this video right now in case you don't know it. That DVR has less than 10 grams. That BEC to run the DVR has about 8 grams. And that video switch, which is an addition to here, isn't uh, that uh, heavy either. It only has a few grams and I'm using the Quenum Diversity receiver here. What this really makes a difference for the Quenum V2 Pro goggles is that they come with acrylic lenses, which we saw in the review of them, which are quite a bit heavier than the Fresnel lenses. Said that, let's take a look at them compared to the uh, V2 and the Cyclops. And here we can already see, okay, we had the Cyclops at 402 grams. We had the Quenum V2 with the Fresnel lens at about uh, close to 500 grams. And these Quenum V2 Pro with the acrylic lenses, and I'm using both of the acrylic lenses in there to get a large picture. 
uh, are again almost 100 grams more heavy than the Cranon V2 or almost 200 grams more heavy than the Cyclops. Okay, so now let's take a look at the on-screen display which is activated by using these plus menu and minus buttons here. I will show this to you. Okay, so basically I'm doing a channel search again, as you can see. And it successfully found the channel every time so far, which is pretty nice. Uh, just pressing the plus and minus buttons does nothing. So I'm doing that now. If I press the menu once, you can see in the bottom of the picture, you can adjust the brightness, uh, contrast, color, mode. Uh, 16 to 9 or 4 to 3 go there again and the language uh, and you can do a reset so that's it for the on-screen display this is really only for the uh, display settings okay so now that we got a good idea about the weight and the height of these uh, Cyclops goggles in comparison to my other goggles. Let's take a look at the image quality. For this I will take my good old friend, my Airplate Assault here. This comes with one of these uh, tiny mini cameras which give decent quality to fly FPV. I will simply put that guy here and we will first take a look at the quality as it is provided by the Cyclops. <coughs> I have to say that, uh, well, I thought that the auto scan might not work that well, but it found the channel at first try and reliably. So I have checked uh, that it's the right channel by simply going to another room in my house to see if uh, I get uh, disturbances, if I get distortions on it, and it was the right channel. So let's take a look here. I've just searched for the channel again, and you can see this seems to work pretty well. I'm still not sure if I'm happy with just relying on auto scan, but it seems to work decent enough, so let's quit bothering about that. So I'm going here as close as possible to give you a picture. And uh, let's try to focus this as well here. And you can see, well, the picture is decent enough, so I'm quite happy with it. Of course, after I showed you the picture, I will give you my opinion on it. It seems to be decent enough, the colors are nice. Uh, yeah, let's take a quick comparison to the Cranon V2 Pro goggles which I have already tuned to the same channel and let's take a look at this try to focus it again yeah. so as you can see uh, both uh, seem to give a pretty good image a pretty, pretty good picture uh, I have tried them both and I can give you my opinion because uh, the, of course, the tr through the camera, it is very hard to see. The magnification factor of both these is about the same. What one can see is that here they apparently used one of the cheaper Fresnel lenses, which means that image is slightly less sharp than the image of the Quanum V2 Pro, which used the acrylic lenses. Said that, this pair of goggles, especially at this price, seems to be a great beginner's uh, pair of goggles, which would be, I think, a great replacement for my uh, Quanum V2 goggles, which also have the Fresnel lens, or even, of course, for the Quanum V1 goggles. So for a beginner, these are perfect, these are excellent. The auto scan feature seems to work decent enough. And out of all of these goggles, of these three goggles which I have here, uh, the Cyclops are definitely the ones most comfortable to wear. And they are also not as high as the uh, do-it-yourself goggles here, which makes them easier to transport, easier to carry as well. So my conclusion is a nice pair of beginner goggles 
not as high in quality as the Quenum uh, V2 goggles, as the Quenum V2 Pro goggles, of course not as easily modifiable than the Quenum V2 goggles, although I think I can take this apart very easily because I saw there are simply four screws down here, which will probably also let me get the frontal lens out if I ever need to clean it or something, so this is okay. Okay, so since I was interested, I wanted to take a look what's in there, uh, especially also because of this compartment there, which I couldn't quite open. So what I did is I've loosened the four screws here, and now it's easy enough coming away, as you can see. So let's take a detailed look at what we have here. So as a suggested, well, as assumed, we have a frontal lens here, which you can see, which I will just leave in here. It's a quite simple mechanism here to just uh, push it. And here on that part, uh, that button here where I have my finger is the auto scan button. So what we have here is probably the receiver, which you can see, or just to try to give you a better image of it. So that's your receiver here with the auto scan option. So I will try to give you a detailed view of this so that you can see what components are used here, which might be interesting for some of you. And here we have the monitor, as you can see. I'll also give some details here to see what is being used here. That's the monitor uh, with the monitor controller here on the bottom. And that looks quite interesting. It's a bit too technical for me, but I'm sure many of you or some of you will know these components and will, uh, using this, get a better idea of the components which are used here uh, for these cranium goggles. So this is a nice pair of beginner goggles at a decent price. And well, yeah, I like them. I told you about the advantages, which is small in size, comfortable to wear, cheap in price. I told you about the disadvantages, at least for me, which is that I have to rely on the auto scan function. You have to decide yourself if these goggles are for you. I hope you liked this review. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and I'm looking forward to see you next time.